Mikhail Alexandrovich Vrubel was a renowned Russian painter of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Born on March 17, 1856 in Omsk, Siberia, Vrubel's family moved to St. Petersburg when he was still a child. His father, a military lawyer, wanted his son to follow in his footsteps, but Mikhail's passion for art was evident from a very young age. As a child, Vrubel spent hours drawing and painting, displaying a natural talent that would eventually lead him to become one of Russia's most respected artists. In 1874, he enrolled in the prestigious Academy of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg, where he studied under renowned painter Pavel Chistyakov. During his time at the Academy, Vrubel was exposed to a variety of artistic styles and techniques, which greatly influenced his own work. He began experimenting with symbolism and decorative motifs, creating a unique and innovative style that set him apart from his contemporaries. In 1884, Vrubel moved to Kiev, where he found inspiration in the rich history and culture of Ukraine. It was during this time that he produced some of his most famous works, including The Demon Sitting and The Swan Princess. These paintings are characterized by their bold colors, intricate patterns, and emotional intensity, reflecting Vrubel's fascination with mythology and folklore. Despite his success as an artist, Vrubel struggled with mental health issues throughout his life. He was known to be moody and unpredictable, often isolating himself from others for long periods of time. However, this introspection also allowed him to delve deeply into his own psyche and create deeply personal and expressive works of art. In the early 1900s, Vrubel's health began to deteriorate, likely due to his struggles with alcoholism and mental illness. He died in 1910 at the age of 54, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking and influential artwork that continues to inspire artists to this day. Vrubel's work has been exhibited in museums and galleries around the world, and his influence can be seen in the works of countless artists who followed in his footsteps. His legacy as a pioneer of Russian symbolism and decorative arts continues to be celebrated and revered, ensuring that his contributions to the art world will never be forgotten. Mikhail Alexandrovich Vrubel was a prominent Russian artist known for his unique and innovative approach to painting. Born on March 17, 1856 in Omsk, Russia, Vrubel's childhood was marked by tragedy as his mother passed away when he was only six years old. Despite this early loss, Vrubel showed an early talent for drawing and painting, and his father encouraged his artistic pursuits. In 1867, Vrubel's family moved to St. Petersburg, where he enrolled in the Imperial Academy of Arts. He studied under the renowned painter Pavel Chistyakov, who recognized Vrubel's talent and encouraged him to explore new styles and techniques. During his time at the Academy, Vrubel developed a deep appreciation for medieval art and religious iconography, which would later influence his own artistic style. After completing his studies, Vrubel traveled to Europe, where he was inspired by the works of the Impressionists and Symbolists. He returned to Russia in 1886 and began working on a series of paintings that combined elements of these new artistic movements with his own unique vision. One of his most famous works from this period is, The Demon Seated, which depicts a strikingly powerful and demonic figure against a dark and moody background. Throughout his career, Vrubel continued to experiment with different styles and techniques creating a diverse body of work that ranged from religious icons to portraits to fantastical landscapes. His use of bold colors and expressive brushwork set him apart from his contemporaries and established him as one of the leading artists of the Russian Symbolist movement. In addition to his paintings, Vrubel also worked in other mediums, including ceramics and stained glass. He collaborated with the famous architect Victor Hartmann on several projects, including the design of the famous Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood in St. Petersburg. Tragically, Vrubel's mental health began to decline in the late 1890s, and he spent the last years of his life in a mental institution. Despite his struggles, 
His artistic legacy continued to grow, and he remains one of the most celebrated artists in Russian art history. In conclusion, Mikhail Alexandrovich Vrubel was a visionary artist whose innovative approach to painting and commitment to artistic experimentation continued to inspire artists and art lovers around the world. His unique style and powerful imagery have cemented his place in the pantheon of Russian art, ensuring that his work will be remembered and admired for generations to come. Mikhail Alexandrovich Vrubel was a prominent Russian painter and sculptor of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He was born in Omsk, Russia in 1856 to a family of military and civil officials. Vrubel's father was a military lawyer while his mother was the daughter of a prominent architect. From an early age, Vrubel showed an interest in art and began drawing and painting. Despite his artistic inclinations, Vrubel's parents hoped he would pursue a more traditional career, so he studied law at the University of St. Petersburg. However, he soon realized that his true passion lay in art, and he transferred to the Academy of Fine Arts to study painting. Vrubel's talent was quickly recognized, and he won several prestigious awards for his work. In the early 1880s, Vrubel traveled to Italy, where he was heavily influenced by the art and architecture of the Renaissance. This experience had a profound impact on his work, and he began to experiment with new techniques and styles. Vrubel's paintings from this period are characterized by their bold colors, intricate patterns, and emotional intensity. One of Vrubel's most famous works is his painting, The Demon Seated, which he completed in 1890. The painting depicts a winged demon in a contemplative pose, surrounded by swirling clouds and flames. The image is both beautiful and haunting, reflecting Vrubel's interest in the supernatural and the mystical. In addition to painting, Vrubel was also a talented sculptor. He created several sculptures, including a series of decorative reliefs for the Moscow Historical Museum. Vrubel's sculptures are known for their intricate detail and expressive forms, and they are considered some of the finest examples of Russian Art Nouveau. Despite his success as an artist, Vrubel struggled with mental health issues throughout his life. In 1900, he suffered a breakdown and was hospitalized for several months. After his release, Vrubel's work became increasingly experimental and avant-garde, reflecting his inner turmoil and psychological struggles. Mikhail Alexandrovich Vrubel passed away in 1910 at the age of 54. Despite his short life, he left behind a rich and diverse body of work that continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Vrubel's art is celebrated for its originality, creativity, and emotional depth, and he is considered one of Russia's greatest painters of the late 19th century. Mikhail Alexandrovich Vrubel, a prominent Russian artist of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, was born on March 17, 1856 in Omsk, Siberia. He was the son of a military lawyer and grew up in a well-educated and cultured family. Vrubel showed an early talent for drawing and painting, and his parents encouraged his artistic pursuits. In 1864, the Vrubel family moved to St. Petersburg, where Mikhail began studying at the Imperial Academy of Arts. He excelled in his studies, winning several awards and scholarships for his work. However, Vrubel soon became disillusioned with the academic style of painting taught at the Academy, and in 1884 he left to pursue his own artistic vision. Vrubel's early works were heavily influenced by the Russian folk art and fairy tales he grew up with. He often used bright colors and bold, expressive brushstrokes to create emotionally charged and fantastical scenes. One of his most famous works from this period is, The Demon Seated, a painting based on Mikhail Lermontov's poem of the same name. In 1886, Vrubel married the opera singer Nadezhda Zabella, who became his muse and frequent model. Together, they traveled throughout Europe, where Vrubel studied the works of the old masters and developed his own unique style. By the late 1890s, Vrubel had become known for his symbolist paintings, 
which featured mystical and otherworldly themes. Despite his success, Vrubel struggled with mental illness throughout his life, which affected his work and personal relationships. In 1905, he was hospitalized for schizophrenia and spent the rest of his life in and out of sanatoriums. However, even in his darkest moments, Vrubel continued to create art, producing some of his most haunting and intense works. Mikhail Vrubel died on April 14, 1910, at the age of 54. Despite his brief and troubled life, he left behind a lasting legacy as one of Russia's greatest painters. His works are now housed in museums and private collections around the world, where they continue to inspire and intrigue art lovers and scholars alike. In conclusion, Mikhail Vrubel was a visionary artist whose innovative and emotional paintings pushed the boundaries of traditional art. His life story is a testament to the power of creativity and the enduring impact of art on the human spirit. Mikhail Alexandrovich Vrubel was born in 1856 in Omsk to a family of a desk officer. His father, Alexander Mikhailovich Vrubel, was of Polish descent, and his mother, Anna Grigorievna, had Danish roots and belonged to a noble Basargan family. Both parents expressed interest in art, in particular Anna Grigorievna, who, until her death from tuberculosis in 1859, used to cut out paper figures of people and animals for her children to play with. Mikhail's sister, being a year older than her brother, had been taking care of the latter ever since and remained the source of his moral and material support for many years, not having a family of her own. Since early childhood Mikhail was drawn to art and seemed to be unusually thoughtful and quiet for a boy of his age. He did not partake in active games but could spend hours examining illustrations or listening to piano music performed by his stepmother, Elizaveta Vessel. He was quick in learning how to read and staged his favorite stories at home involving family and friends as a cast. By the age of five the young artist began sketching everyday scenes from family life and enhanced his amateur theater with decorations and costumes. Alexander and Anna, his brother and sister, were childishly carried away by Misha's imagination and took part in the theater games with great joy. Their father, to the extent of his modest financial means, encouraged son's creative inclinations in every possible way. In 1864, during a brief stay in St. Petersburg, he took Mikhail to the drawing school of the Society for the Appreciation of the Arts and the following year he hired a visiting drawing teacher. The Vrubel family was highly dependent on Alexander Mikhailovich's relocations and lived in many locations around Russia. Once in Saratov, where the family was staying at the time, father took Mikhail to see a copy of Michelangelo's fresco The Last Judgment and the future artist upon returning home reproduced it by heart. 